Like it would be nice for all of you if you could just take enough time off from all of the responsible things that you feel like you have to do until you could get in sync with the rhythmic flow of the energy so that you could just follow through with inspired things. And we also know that it doesn't feel to you that you need to do that because your children might starve before you come into alignment or, <laughs> or, or, or. And so we know that you are in an interesting position because you really have to carry on while you are maybe, if you want to, modifying your perspective to be more thought rather than action, more emotion rather than action, and more inspired action rather than contrived or controlled action. Mm -hmm. And we think the pieces that really lay a good basis for you, we already talked about here today, that if you can just accept that the more you ponder something, the more it's ready for you. Now, we want to explain exactly how this works. This vortex that we're talking about, you have been building it incrementally. And whether you recognize it or not, we want you to know it's perfect for you. So when you say, I really don't know exactly what's coming, that may be, but it is wonderful. And you did put all of the pieces there. Yeah, I'd like that. And all of the pieces <laughs> that are interacting with each other are going to create for you when it comes into the manifestational form things that will be incredibly satisfying and so this vortex has already between what you've sifted and sorted and what law of attraction has done with your vortex and the vibrational version of it the majority of the work is done. More than 99% of the creation is done. It isn't about effort factor, it's about alignment factor. So if you can accept that it is already accomplished and that now you have the simple experience of just getting into a chilled place where you're not clunking a bunch of engines on your track going in opposition to what you want that the natural unfolding is for what you want to begin occurring to you, to begin appearing to you. Even if I don't know what it is I want, like I'm, I don't even know if I know what I want, but I know it'll be good if I can just let it in, like the universe knows what I want. It's like this, as it's gathering momentum and really gestating in the state of becoming, and you are feeling good mostly just because you want to and because you figure out what kind of thoughts help you feel good and what kind of thoughts don't and you avoid those that don't and you focus on those that do. So you're feeling good often, which means you're closer and closer and more often, more often in that receptive mode. And because you are, then an idea occurs to you. Oh, and often you say it's an idea of desire. Well, that desire didn't just start when you got the idea. It's been well underway. The fact that you got it means that it's really ready to come to fruition and you're ready to translate it into fruition. So when the idea occurs and you feel that exhilaration, what that means is you let that mature idea flow into your mind and now manifestation is right around the corner. We want to find a way to say to you that it's the creatine that you came for, not the creation. But the creation must be part of the process for there to be any creatine that goes. So it's just another way of saying that the joy is in the journey, it's not only in the manifestation. And so what we really want to say to you is that the more satisfaction that you're finding even before the manifestation, then the more you're milking this creation for more joy and the more satisfaction you're going to feel when it manifests. Even if I'm just milking something else that has nothing to do with all the things I might want? Well, that's really a good approach because... Because that's, I think, all I can do. <laughs> you could have five Lately. factors in your life that are important. Four of them could be not working very well at all. One of them could be 
something that's pleasing when you think about it. And if you spent most of your time just softly focusing on what is working, the other four would come into alignment. Wait. They've already come into alignment, but that focus on the one that is working causes you to come into the receiving mode where those four could begin revealing themselves to you in more positive ways. Yeah, because I think maybe only one is here and about five or six, nowhere in sight. <laughs> but I don't feel bad about that, but I don't feel, I feel maybe I'm not... We want to go back and revisit for a moment the analogy of Esther and her lions and horses. Because... So many of our physical friends really believe that it's the accomplishing of the manifestation that is necessary for feeling good. So when they hear a story like this about Esther, who can just pick out something that she wants and write a check for it, they have a hard time understanding why we think that this is an interesting story. Because they're still thinking, hey, if I could just write a check for something, then everything would be better for me. Because in the having of it, in the absence of the absence of it, if I could just have what I think that I'm wanting, then I would feel better. And we want you to come with us on this journey of deliberate creation to understand that there are so many actions that you want to take. Making a phone call instead of chilling out. It's like writing the check. It's like trying to make the action do the work that can't be done before the energy has flowed. So it's a good process if you can find something that is pleasing to you to think about. Because when you focus upon it, because the work is already done in the vortex, and now you're doing the work of finding something pleasant to think about so you're closing the gap, in that closed gap, in that open valve, in that open circuit, where you'll start translating those vibrations into ideas, you're going to feel wonderful as those ideas flow. Don't you know that? Haven't you ever been involved with a project where it just clicked, click, 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 clicked? Ideas came to you, you had fun along the way, you were collaborating with others, they were in the flow too, it all felt good, there just didn't seem to be any bumps in the road because you were moving so fast the bumps didn't matter anyway. That's what deliberate creation feels like. So come back to what you're talking about here. Bring it to something specific to you. Well, I have no job, not sure where I'm going to be living, and I don't know, like part of me just wants to leave it open, let the universe guide me to it, but then I think sometimes I get caught up in not doing it. But look anything. at it this way, you have two choices. You can leave it open and let the universe inspire you to the next logical step and have some fun along the way and a really wonderful manifestation, or you can panic and jump right into some action that won't be very satisfying and then continue to say, I don't know what's next, I don't yeah, know what's next. Right, and I get caught between both. I can be doing fine and then I'll kind of get off track and feel like I've narrowed myself into doing. And then I'll step out and expand. When you say, I'm not sure where I will be living next. Mm -hmm. Are you homeless now? No. Do you really need to think too hard about where you will be living next when you are living now somewhere? Probably not. <laughs> but what is it that makes you say, I'm not sure where I will be living next? What do you think is the reason that you said that? Because, because I'm not completely satisfied with where I'm living now. Correct. So I know there's something more coming. Yeah. I just don't know where it is. Yeah, exactly. So I can give you a little trick here. <laughs> okay. When you think about what you want and why you want it, you almost always get into the receiving mode. When you think about what you want and where it's going to be, when it's going to be, yeah, who it's no. going to be with, then... It doesn't work out. <laughs> then you're not in the receiving mode. Yeah. So when you think about where you want to be and why you want to be there, why is that? What is it you want and why do you want it relative to a place to live? I'd like four seasons instead of maybe one, like San Antonio only has kind of one, so that I would like. <laughs> <laughs> we said, what is it you want, and why do you want it? And you said, because I don't like this. Oh, because I love the fall, and I love the trees changing, and then I love a little snow, and then I love it to be spring, and, and how each new season makes me feel. So yeah. now, as you say that, we can all feel you line up with that. Not at first, but you got there. So now, 
why does that change in seasons feel good to you? Now, this is that flowing the energy that we're talking about. Why does a change in seasons feel good to you? It's exhilarating. All right. It's change, and I kind of like the idea of like new energy with each season. It helps me to refocus. I like the way it smells and feels. So milk that a little bit. Let that energy flow a little bit. You see, if it is true, and it is, that the energy flowing is the precursor to the manifestations occurring to you, then can you see how when you talk about what and why, rather than what you want and why you don't want that and what you want and why you don't want that and what you want and why you don't want that. So as you just get that energy flowing, so I will always be looking for a place to be happy. How's that for a good feeling statement? And there are lots of places and lots of reasons that I'm happy in lots of places. There's no resistance in any of this. And I really prefer an environment that inspires me to feel differently at different times. So I really like temperature changes. I really like foliage changes. I really like the changes in the way the air is. I really like the way the community feels different in different times of year. I like how the snow just kind of slows everyone down and makes you appreciate the warmth and the contrast of a fire. I really like the smell of a fireplace. I really like the new budding of the new flowers after they've been in the frozen ground. I really like the fresh start that the new you're all going to leave San Antonio soon aren't you? <laughs> I really like the fresh start that the, the new spring brings I really like the way I feel I'm comfortable in that environment I can be comfortable in every environment but I really like the feeling of that now if that's all you did in a deliberate focused time you float enough energy that now law of attraction is going to bring you other things and as you continue to understand and we're going to say it right now and today in a way you've never heard us say it before if you can get it that your work is to extend the flowing of the energy period if you can get it that your work is to extend the positive flow of the energy rather than the engine going toward what you want and the engine going toward what you don't want if you can just keep your energy your thoughts meaning your focused thoughts clearer purer less contradicted which means feeling better feeling better feeling better feeling better the manifestation will just be the next logical step it just happens that way but if you think that in order to have that, that you've got to get online, you've got to do some research, you've got to figure out where those places are. Action, 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 action. And then you'll just move somewhere and see what it's like. You won't like the horses as much as the lions. Yeah, <laughs> I think you're right. You just yeah. won't. You could warm up to the horses. You'll like them in time. They'll become your friends. They'll find their place there. But that's doing the energy work after the fact, you see. And it's so much more good feeling and so much more productive if you take the pleasure from the energy flow. Now, hear this. Can you take the pleasure from the energy flow? Or do you need to take the pleasure from the manifestation? And if you don't first take the pleasure from the energy flow, will there be as much satisfaction in the manifestation? So we're not going to say you can't make things happen. You can you could pack up today. You could say, okay, that's it. You could get some big truck to come and put all of your things in it and you could take off and you could go somewhere. You could move into action today. Or you could take the pleasure from the energy flow and then take the pleasure from the energy flow and then take the pleasure from the next idea that comes and the next idea that comes and you could increase your awareness of your worthiness in a way that you have not ever allowed before.